Hello friends, Pastor Bud here, and here we are as we continue to read slowly through Psalm 119 together. Uh, today we're going to be reading Psalm 119 verses 145 through 168. Uh, and it's a lovely morning, so uh, I chose to bring this outside. I apologize if wind noise is problematic. Um, but I really felt this was the place this morning to read. Um, I don't know about you, but I've been really enjoying this time we've had together. And I have found myself rediscovering uh, my passion for the Word, maybe even rekindling that, that love I have for it. Join me as we pray, and then we'll get into reading. Father God, Lord, I just ask that you would move your spirit, the same spirit that inspired this word, that inspired your holy men to write this word, the same spirit that has preserved uh, this word through countless attempts to destroy it. I pray that that spirit would move within uh, the hearts and minds of all those who are joining with me as we read together slowly through Psalm 119. Father, would you allow that spirit to kindle into flame a passion within each of us for your word, a love for your precepts and your law? And would you awaken within us an understanding of who you are, of who we are, and who you are calling us to become. Father, we love you. We ask all of this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Psalm 119, starting at verse 145. I call with all my heart. Answer me, Lord. I will obey your statutes. I call to you, save me. And I will keep your decrees. I rise before dawn and cry out for help. I put my hope in your word. I am awake through each watch of the night to meditate on your promise. I want to pause here. I don't know about you, but... As I am getting older, um, shoulder pain, back pain, uh, a need to use the facilities, I find myself waking frequently throughout the night. Uh, long gone are those moments where I would lay my head down and wake up eight hours later. Uh, now I might get a couple of hours. And in those moments when we wake, in those moments when I wake, uh, I find myself wrestling with this desire to get back to sleep. But what if, what if we could take those moments and we can use them to meditate on God's Word? I, I mentioned over the, this past week a couple of times a season of depression I had walked through in which I, I found myself unable to even read the Word, engage the Word, and I found my prayers, it might be generous to call them stymied. Uh, I, I found sleep fleeting at best and unavailable. And so I, I found this season in which I would use every woken, waking moment, whether it was those initial moments where I was just desperate for the first moments of sleep, or uh, whether it was throughout the night when I would wake and find my, my mind overwhelmed with the depression, I would find those moments and I would, pray, I would pray the Lord's Prayer or the 23rd Psalm over and over the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Or the 23rd Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. Sometimes I would even mix it up a little bit. And instead of praying, the Lord is my shepherd, I would pray the Lord is our shepherd. And sometimes instead of praying, our Father who is in heaven, my Father, my God who is in heaven. But it was those moments when I would turn my wakefulness to mindfulness focused on God. When I would turn my desperate fleeting sleep and fleeting prayers to a desperate prayerful recitation of the, these two tools that I would find myself uh, not only putting my hope in his word, I would find myself meditating upon and re-encouraged by his promise. Back to the, uh, our reading here at verse 149. In keeping with your faithful love, Hear my voice, Lord, give me life in keeping with your justice. Those who pursue, pursue evil plans come near, they are far from your instruction. But you are near, Lord, and all your commands are true. Long ago I learned from your decrees that you have established them forever. Consider my affliction and rescue me. For I have not forgotten your instruction. Champion my cause and rest redeem me. Give me life as you promised. Salvation is far from the wicked because they do not study your statutes. Your compassions are many, Lord. Give me life according to your judgments. It's that promise again. That is, judgment is something to be feared, but not if we are in Christ with a body-numbing fear, but with a reverence and awe that his promises are unbreakable. The shroud of Jesus covers all who are in him. And because of Jesus death on the cross because of his blood shed on our behalf because of his body broken that we might be hold, made whole because of our faith in him our lord and savior we can stand and trust and receive life because of god's judgment verse 157 my persecutors and foes are many i have not turned from your decrees no matter the pressure against me i will hold fast to your word Verse 158, I have seen the disloyal and feel disgust because they do not keep your word. Consider how I love your precepts. Lord, give me life according to your faithful love. The entirety of your word is truth. Each of your righteous judgments endures forever. Princes have persecuted me without cause, but my heart fears only your word. Reminds me, I will not be afraid of mortal man. What can mortal man do to me when God is on my side? I rejoice over your promise like the one who finds vast treasure. I hate falsehood. But I love your instruction. I praise you seven times a day for your righteous judgments. I praise you seven times a day. I want you to pause here again. Because I don't want you to think that this is a calendar where you got to start counting them off or maybe taking these tick marks on your, on your day, day blotter. Um, I praise you 
one time today, two times today, three times today. No, I praise you seven times, seven being a number of completeness. I completeness. I praise you throughout the day. In fact, I make praise of you my daily, my consistent prayer as I breathe, as I move, as I make my way through the day. Verse 165, abundant peace belongs to those who love your instruction. Nothing makes them stumble. Lord, I hope for your salvation and carry out your commands. I obey your decrees and love them greatly. I obey your precepts and decrees for all my ways are before you. Hey friends, I love you. I again have loved this time with you and can't wait to uh, join you tomorrow as we finish reading together slowly through Psalm 119. God bless.